Cynthia, while the city continues to try and figure out what to do with those in the shelter system right now amid the COVID crisis, we do know that some of the homeless people in the city are actually going to be temporarily housed in Toronto community housing units. And that has those currently living in those buildings a little worried. Rosemary Maria Seelen has been living with her mother in this Regent Park walk-up for a month now. She wanted to be there by her side while she stayed at home through the pandemic. But something strange started happening in the Toronto Community Housing Building last week. They've been taking, you know, just any, I guess, leftover furniture and items out. Um, and then they've been repainting the empty unit. Um, and uh, they did that on Saturday as well, which I, again, thought was suspicious to have someone in on the weekend to be doing some clearing out. After hearing the city's plan to move the homeless into new spaces, she began to wonder if these units, just steps away from family, were going to be used for those potentially exposed to COVID-19. How concerned are you that something's going on here? I'm very concerned. I mean, uh, again, I don't know what the what the status of uh, these uh, people are, like when they're coming in, if they've been tested positive, if they've been sharing space with people who have tested positive, or if they're waiting to be tested or for their results. When asked about this building specifically, city officials did confirm it was preparing for the possible temporary housing for the homeless and said it would not be occupied with those who were COVID positive. We we'll want to reassure those tenants and we will be proactively engaging with tenants to make sure they understand uh, when and if we activate units like that, what the purpose is, who the people will be coming in to, to stay in those units. We are making sure we make good housing connections. We're using our coordinated access process, which assesses eligible uh, clients uh, and making sure that we're able to match the appropriate level of support. Maria Seelen, though, says that's still not enough when there's no telling who has shared what space before now. It's an old building. You have to turn a knob to open a door. There are no um, automatic entrances and things like that. So there's a lot of surfaces to be touched. And it's just a lot to think about right now, especially with all the uncertainty that's going on. Toronto Community Housing has told me that 82 units in four Regent Park buildings are actually being prepared for the possibility of the homeless moving in temporarily. We do know that the uh, city plans to engage with the people that are living in those buildings. When exactly and how much notice they'll be given, still unsure.